future, Tony has spent years researching his family history, and he's got a tale to tell. This is where your great grandparents actually lived. Yeah, I'm filling up with them, and I never dreamed that I would actually be sitting in a house where my ancestors were as well. What have you found out about Mary Ellen? She was a, a seamstress, a dressmaker, a draper. Looking at this photograph, she could well have made those floors herself. These are the clothes of somebody who believes they're going somewhere. Else. Yes. Yeah. Her husband, uh, once her husband started to uh, go through the ranks uh, in the merchant navy, he became a master mariner. That is not to be sneezed at. It's a good job to have. And um, whilst William Henry was away, she was working herself. She was bringing up children. But it seems to me that something went wrong. And uh, but I just do not know what it was. And this is where they. Okay. Yeah. I just couldn't believe it. I, I, I started to look through the census information and I looked at the 1901 census information. I suddenly of realised she, she was a, an inmate in St Nicholas Lunatic Asylum. And these are her admission notes yeah. to the, the asylum? Yeah. They, they called it melancholia. I think she'd had a nervous breakdown. When Mary Ellen was admitted in 1900, St. Nicholas's was Newcastle's first purpose-built orphan's asylum. Here, she was one of 700 patients who were being treated for conditions ranging from mania to her condition, melancholia, what we today call depression. She would have. The husband of William Henry says she talks a way of being without home or money and wishes that she were dead. She dreads that I will leave her. She's trying to drown herself in there. When it says she's fearful of being without home, mm -hmm. we have to presume that that's this house that she's frightened of losing. Yes, I really do think that's a good assumption to make. Then, from, uh, and she says here, loss of memory, first symptoms, observed talks nonsense, was restless. And she imagines her husband's business is bad. Then she said, and this is, this is bugging me, Seven years ago, she invested her husband's savings in a business which failed. And this obviously is pressed heavily on her mind. And there were ancestors. 